I am down at the Maple House right now. I'm waiting for Dad to arrive. He went to pick up a load of sap, and I'm actually going to ride with him to pick up some more. So once he gets here and unloads, we're going to jump in the truck and go to the gray silo to grab a load of sap. I think you got a first ride for the year. Whew. It's hot in here. It's hot in here is right. And it's gonna be hot outside. When it's surf weather, you don't you don't eat very good. Do I time her out? Tell tanks about, about empty when it took that long. Fuller it is. More head pressure. A maple syrup haulers diet. First of all, you have no time to stop, so when you do, you gotta pick enough food up for all night because the stores close early. Get a loaf of bread. I got some honey ham. Probably not the best thing it's processed, but Swiss cheese. Some mustard. And then for dessert, some Swiss rolls. And uh gets kind of boring and stuff waiting for the tank to fill, so on some of these uh pretzel crisps pretty tasty actually but then you need something to wash it all down with plus this helps keep you awake they had a special if you buy three at a time so i had to buy three the first one i already drank but these definitely do help just as good as coffee or better <laughs> and usually make it through the night by three four o'clock you're home anyhow in the morning and that's it. I need a little feedback. What does everyone else eat? Well, back when I grew up, my father always told me, we don't have time to eat, we'll eat when it rains. Well, we're hoping for some rain to get some moisture in the ground so we trees will produce more sap, so we eat when we're driving down the road.
Okay, I'm here with Nikki Boxford. We're unloading a load of sap. We just, she just made me a ham and cheese sandwich. I did. And uh, that's gone. It was delicious. And now we're here unloading the sap. Going through this pre-filter. And uh, just standing here for about 20 minutes to unload it, waiting for it to... Uh, Two of them gauges dropped to zero. I know it's empty, and uh, off we are to get another load of sap. Well, you see air because it just shut off. That actually the water permeate part of the sap after uh, sugar's been removed from it. Permeates going out to the tank. Hit the screen. I'm gonna read it. Come over here. 12 meters. Rinse again. Then come over here. Hit these flow meters. Just move the furry down. Them. We're back now and just unloaded a load of sap. Dad actually just left to go get some more. I was just a one and done type of trip there with him. Um, I just don't have that much time so I have to get back home. But getting dad to talk on camera is like pulling teeth. So the fact that he was talkative today is pretty mind blowing. And the segment about what he eats in the truck was all completely his idea. He came up with it all on his own and he forgot to ask. He said it after I stopped filming. I forgot to ask everyone else what they eat while they're in the truck hauling sap. So please be sure to comment below. Let us know what you guys eat because maybe I'll surprise him and make some of those meals. Hopefully they're better than what he eats currently, but I have a feeling the diet is probably kind of similar to what he's eating. So if you like this video, please comment, like, subscribe, and we will see you next time. Thank you so much for tuning in.